the question for you today is, should you look at your partner? There's been discussion at coaching clinics and seminars that I've been to. Some coaches say, never look at your partner hitting the shot. We gotta be careful as coaches and, and actually everybody of saying two words, always and never. Usually the truth is somewhere in between. So should you never look at your partner hitting? Well, I'll be the returner's partner. My partner's returning, so I'm standing here. First things first, if you're standing here like this, facing the server, that's a bad position. I should be facing right where the camera is right now, where the server's partner is, because the server's partner is the first person that can do damage against me. So I wanna be facing that person. Now, if the person serving has a strong first serve, you might want to stand a step or two behind the service line. And I know right now I can hear some people saying, you're standing in no man's land. Well, there's two ways I could look at it. One, I could be totally defensive and start at the baseline. If the guy has a really strong serve, I could do that. Or I could protect myself from the first poach. And if that doesn't happen, I can get back into my offensive position and try to poach off the server's first shot. So it's situational. It's not always the same situation out here. So here's what I'm going to do. When the ball goes in and I see it land in the box, instead of turning to face my partner, that's bad. I don't turn and face my partner. But what I can do is take a peek. So if I'm here and I see the serve go in and I take a peek, I still keep my posture and my position on the court, but I honestly can tell what type of shot my partner's about to hit. That's very important. What if I see my partner stretched out? I know that he's gonna hit a weak return and I'm anticipating the poach by the net person. The other thing I can do is when I take that peak and if I see my partner going off the court, I will shift to cover the big gap in the middle. I don't mind if the person at the net then picks off his return and beats me over on the small side of the court. I just don't wanna give up the middle. All right, now let's say there's a lob over my head. First shot goes over my head. I'm gonna take a peek as I switch and see what my partner's doing. If my partner's running back really far and very weak, I know that I need to cover the next shot. So if I see my partner running back, I might float back in to no man's land and go with my partner to cover the gap in the middle. Notice, I did not go like this. So again, lob goes over my head, my partner goes to get it, I'm gonna take a peek, check out my partner, I can still watch the other player. All right, now we gotta watch out for those words always and never. It's not always the same thing, and it's not never happening. It could happen sometimes, okay? Now one thing I will do, if you're my partner and you're playing the do side, I typically play the ad side. If I see that person serving my partner off the court, where he's getting pushed off the side, I will tell him in between points, hey, take one down the line or take it right at the net person. When I see that serve go out wide, I'm anticipating my partner's shot to the net person. I'm already getting ready to make that next shot. All right, situational, mix things up. This is happening a lot and you're getting poached, you might go to two back. All right, talk to your partner too. That information your partner gives you will help you set up your next shot. All right, have a great day.